Hi, this is Devashish from Circuit Digest. Once again, back with another video. In front of me is the AC fan regulator circuit with the ESP8266. As you can see, I have made this uh, circuit in a uh, PCB which I have designed. So, as this is a demonstration project, that's why I have made it in a PCB. So, if you want to learn more about the topic, you can check out the given link below in the description, which, which will redirect you to our vlog where I have mentioned all the details. So if you are curious about the ESP8266, it's on the back side of the PCB along with the 3.3 volt voltage regulator right here. So as you can also see, I have uh, made some mistakes while uh, soldering the PCB and uh, I fixed that with some jumper wires, as you can see. But I have rectified this all this in the actual PCB and uploaded the Gerber file in the blog. You can download it and use it as you like so here is the schematic of the PCB as you can see this is the AMS uh, 1117.3.3 volt regulator and as you can see I have forgot to put a input capacitor right here which I have did uh, it here it's a crude way but it works it works and this is the ESP8266 configured as per the latest recommendation and here is the, all the input and filter capacitor here is the GPIO 0 pull down switch which puts the ESP in programming mode here is my zero crossing detection circuit this all circuit this is the triple pipe timer which drives the uh, transistor the driving transistor the driving transistor drives the MOC3021 optocoupler and this optocoupler drives the triac and this section is optically isolated so you don't get electrocuted while you are you know, working in the low voltage side and there is a snubber circuit and this is where the load is connected as you can see it right here so and this is the RC filter circuit where the PWM signal this, this is the output pin of the uh, ESP where the PWM signal gets converted into DC voltage that DC voltage drives this MOSFET and this drive uh, this MOSFET drives the triple five timer so basically the ESP8266 is connected to the internet at pulling the data from the firebase and when any data change happen in the firebase that also reflects in the ESP8266 side that is how the communication is working so if you want to know more about the topic please do check out the given link in the description and i have made an app with app inventor so uh, here is the app as you can see um, by changing the slider you can change the brightness of the bulb hence the fan speed as you can see right here by changing the slider by changing the slider you can change the brightness of the bulb as you can see turned off completely turned off if i uh, put the slider in zero position it will get completely turned off and this is slightly bright so i have also a table fan connected right here i have i did not turn this on because it's making quite noise you cannot hear my voice over this so let me turn this on and let me uh, let's give you an example so how it's working so i have turned this on now I'm going to so as you can see the fan is on right now and it's currently spinning so uh, I have put my phone over there let me just uh, wipe down the slider so I have changed the brightness and as you can see I don't know if you can see or not uh, but the span speed uh, is uh, gets reduced and uh, the, now the fan totally gets turned off so yeah you can see right here the fan is again turned on so this was the example 
and if you want to if you want to look at the circuit here is the circuit again so thank you for watching